is Kayla from WBRU at Lollapalooza, and I'm here with Group Love, Ryan, Andrew, and Dan. How's it going, guys? Awesome. It's going wonderful. How are you? Great. So we just got a few questions for you guys. So it must be pretty insane to be playing here at Lollapalooza, but I just heard you guys played at Red Rocks about like a week ago or a few days ago, which is my dream venue. I've always wanted to go there. But is there anywhere else that you're really looking forward to playing or like have a dream venue you really want to go to? Well, um, I told the band when it started that uh, the only goal I had was to play the Hollywood Bowl, and we're getting to do that uh, this October. So seven or eight years later, that wish finally came around. But uh, awesome. yeah, Red Rocks, real dump, <laughs> real dump. So okay, uh, you guys, you guys have any? Uh, they same, really? same. We, I also grew up in LA with Andrew, so it's always the Hollywood Bowl. Yeah. Oh, cool. They, uh, they did it before I was in the band, but the Gorge. Uh, was it Sasquatch that's up there? I really want to do that at some point. Looks same kind of thing with Red Rocks, where it's just natural beauty and. Uh, playing music there would be amazing. Cool, cool. So I also know you guys are going to be touring with Imagine Dragons and K-Flay, which is pretty cool. But since you started traveling and touring, is there any like favorite touring mate that you've had so far? Touring what? Touring mate, like anyone that you've uh, toured with? Um, well, we've always had a really good connection with, uh, we just played with Head and the Heart. Oh, yeah. and they're, they're great people. Uh, who, who else do we like? KZ Manchester Elephant. Orchestra, KZ Elephant are some of our best friends. Portugal The Man. Shout out to them, they're having a big moment right now, which is really cool, we're super proud of them, and uh, I don't know, yeah, it's, it's been a good good scene, good circle for a minute here, we've been lucky. Awesome, cool, cool, and so you must be super excited to tour with Imagine Dragons too, they seem great. Yeah, they're really good guys actually, and um, they're probably the nicest arena slayers you're ever going to meet, so yeah, we're excited. So now I want to play um, something with you guys called the 5 and 95, which is like five kind of like spitfire quick questions. And you all can I have your this. separate answers. So whatever you guys, whenever you guys are ready. Okay, so what is the first album you ever bought? Start over here. Uh, live from the Muddy Banks of the Wish Call by Nirvana. Oh, sweet. That's a good one. <laughs> I think I got Soul Asylum on tape, which is not something I thought I would admit out loud. But that's, I think, the first one. Uh, Mortal Kombat the movie soundtrack, uh, motion picture soundtrack, and then my second, my real album, that's that's the real first album, but then like my real album that's of an artist was Nine Inch Nails, Downward Spiral. Sweet, yeah. sweet. Okay, those are all solid. Much than me. <laughs> you guys just aren't honest. I know damn well there was one sneaker, like, not good one in there. I, I said mine, Mortal Kombat. That's actually amazing, though. <laughs> the first one I ever listened to was Arrested Development, but the first one I, I bought with my own, like, paper route money or whatever was Nirvana. Sweet, sweet. <laughs> Good first job. Okay, what was the last show you binge watched? Oh, uh, I, I just watched uh, the entirety of that new show, Ozark, uh, in about three days. Yeah, it's great. I, I kind of just binge watch HDTV. I'm not kidding. Like Property Brothers, Slipper Flop, no, all that. Shows, yeah. I don't know why. It's just easy to watch. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I watch those all the time. They're some of my favorites. Lie, but it's okay. <laughs> no, I actually do. I love those. I do. I love the Property Brothers. <laughs> uh, Master of None, oh, yeah, yeah. which is cool. Second season, yeah. Yeah, sweet. Okay, if you weren't making music, what would be your job? Saucier. Travel agent. Uh, I probably would have like gone into like a journalism. <laughs> yeah. Cool, cool. <laughs> Okay, so have you guys had any very interesting fan experiences? What was your most interesting? Uh, anyone waiting like hours after the show is always interesting and uh, humbling. Uh, there's definitely some uh, people that just emerge out of dark alleys when you're trying to walk away, and it's always a, a startling moment. But Dan, what about you? Actually, I'm glad I remember this. One of my proudest moments uh, of being in this band was I went to uh, the Women's March in D.C. Mm -hmm. and got recognized there oh, really? by a mother and daughter. Aww. And they were just like, thank you so much for like supporting this cause and all that. It's really cool. Like, that was, yeah, that was the biggest one. I can't beat that, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the last one. If you could switch places with any other artist at this festival, who would it be? Uh, Chance. Charlie XCX, because I, I want, I wish her, I could move my butt like she moves hers. Playing in the background. You mean like yeah. switching like uh, the slot? No, oh, just, just like, like being them. I would the like day. to be Charlie. Uh, probably Chance then still, yeah. yeah. Solid answer. How about you? Uh, Ryan took mine. I would have said Charlie XCX, yeah. It's all good. You guys can both switch places with her. It's mainly because of the dancing, too. Yeah. I just wish I could dance like that. 
Well, awesome. I think that's all the questions I have for you guys. Do you have anything you want to tell to the people of Providence? Any fans? Uh, just that we love Providence and we can't wait to come back. We haven't toured there enough. And uh, yeah. Maybe it's I think the WBRU awesome. too. Yeah. Thank you guys. Yeah. You guys are a great station. Appreciate yeah. It. Thank you to everybody that listens to the band. This has been Kayla with WBRU and this is Group Love. <laughs>